what's going on my friends my name is joe and welcome back for episode 7 of town hall 10 in 2021 guys the clan war leagues have begun now you remember that laboratory upgrade priority guide we did a few weeks ago Yep, it's time to show you all the results of what's been done in our laboratory since then. Now, for those of you out there that don't know, we have only been at Town Hall 10 for exactly 28 days. So no, we do not have maxed out heroes, nor do we have maxed out witches and bowlers. All we have are the dragons, baby dragons, lightning spells, and earthquake spells upgraded just in time for the Clan War Leagues. So here's what we're going to do today, guys. We're going to take a look at the best attack strategy at Town Hall 10. Obviously debatable because a lot of players out there believe that there's other options out there. But today we're going to show you how to use the Zapquake Dragon without the Siege Machines because not everybody out there can get them. But we're also going to follow that attack up with a different replay on the same exact base with the Siege Machine for those of you out there that can get those. So this is the base that we're going to go against today, an anti-three star design. Now the thing about these bases and the Dragons is that even though players out there will say that the dragon attack strategies are very easy you still have to do a little bit of planning and you still need to understand the funneling if you do not funnel bases like this very well meaning clearing these exterior buildings out here and these exterior buildings over here you're more than likely going to fail your dragons are going to stay on the outsides of the base so you got to take it step by step and our first step at looking at these bases is we're looking for the air defenses where are the air defenses located how do we intend on getting rid of those air defenses so we have one two three four air defenses on a town hall 10 base you'll notice that one two three are easily accessible they're on the edge of the base so we can use our king and our archer queen to eliminate at least one of these air defenses now we also have the lightning spells and the earthquake spells to destroy two air defenses so we want to select one that is really difficult to get to and this one right here is probably the hardest to get to because it's surrounded by a wizard tower a inferno tower as well as an expo so we're definitely going to use the lightning spells on that one now we also need to remember that we have to clear exterior buildings so we might want to take out an air defense that we can use our minions to start clearing exterior buildings as well i hope all of this is making sense let me show you what it looks like in action so we're going to select this air defense over here and we're going to use three lightning spells and one earthquake spell we're gonna drop three lightning spells destroy the archer tower we're gonna to come inside the village a little bit and drop the earthquake spell to do damage to multiple buildings in here now you're also gonna see that we place our minions to start clearing these buildings since we eliminated this archer tower so we have free range for a little while with our minions now we're gonna come in here and target this air defense right here by dropping three lightning spells let me go ahead and zoom back out a little bit one two and three and then we're gonna drop our earthquake spell to do damage to the air defense wizard tower expo and the multi-target inferno tower so we've taken out two air defenses now we need to work on the third so we're gonna place our barbarian king archer queen and two baby dragons and the point of the baby dragons is to destroy outside buildings and it's also intended to keep our king and our queen on target to take out this air defense this is very important because we do not want that standing picking off our dragons as they fly by so the king's ability will be used the archer queen will go up into a cannon she's going to take on that then she's going to move into an air defense and she's going to continue to work down towards that wizard tower that has been damaged now you're going to notice that we also placed one dragon because i wasn't feeling very nice about this funnel and we wanted to make sure that we cleared these buildings over here that way our dragons and our balloons stay on path towards the inferno tower the air sweepers the archer queen and the clan castle troops now inside the clan castle on this one we got two witches a headhunter and goblins guys look man these witches are a pain in the neck they are just such a pain in the neck so this is what your other life lightning spells for we need to roast those witches so we got the balloons down 
the Lava Hound from the Clan Castle, and our dragons. And we have a raid spell placed to speed them up and get them deeper into the base to take out defenses and move our dragons up into that Archer Queen. And we use that lightning spell to destroy that witch. Now the dragons, they got a nice path, guys. Look at it. Look at all the buildings that are on the outside of the base that are gone. We don't have to worry about them anymore. The dragons are working up towards the top side of the village just like we want them to do. And one more note about this, because once our spells are gone, we really have no control over the attack anymore i mean we can't do anything else other than dropping minions to help out or maybe dropping a dragon that you held on to but other than that it's really just up to the dragons to clear out the remaining buildings so if you funneled properly you cleared out the air defenses you took care of the clan castle troops you should be really good to go for the three star but one major note about this attack strategy is that it does go very slow so you might need to be very fluent i mean what i mean by that is when you place your lightning spells you need to drop them drop the earthquake spell and move on to the next one get your heroes down and start working on the attack because you only have three minutes and dragons take forever so now let's look at that same base, but we're gonna add the battle blimp into the attack. And what's really interesting with the inclusion of the battle blimp is that you can take out the fourth air defense using it instead. So we're gonna start out this attack in a very similar manner to the last replay, destroying the air defense as well as the archer tower. But we're also going to place our lightning spell in a different placement this time around to destroy multiple buildings in this compartment, one air defense, and we're gonna use the earthquake spell to damage this air defense this is very interesting because this is where we're going to place our battle blimp because it lines up perfectly with the town hall on the opposite side of the base i'm going to show you that here in a second so we're going to place our baby dragon start clearing out some buildings but we're going to drop our king and our queen down in the bottom side of this base and we're targeting this air defense right here as well as multiple buildings around the village now they're going to work for a moment the baby dragons are working they're going to take out multiple buildings but we're going to end up having to drop a dragon because the baby dragon was taken out by this archer tower right here which is kind of unfortunate queen's gonna get in there take on the hidden tesla she's gonna take on the air defense eliminate it and then the dragon's gonna be dropped to take out the laboratory in the corner now we're gonna work the queen into the archer tower and then her and the king are going to split and she's gonna work on buildings on the right side while we work our dragons and our balloons up into this first inferno tower now we're gonna place our siege machine just like Lined up perfectly with the town hall to go into the center of this base and take on this air defense we're going to drop it right on top of the air defense will which will in fact destroy that air defense but the yetis inside will distract the clan castle troops take out the archer queen while our dragons and balloons work through the rest of the base you see how that works out i mean it's very very easy i don't know what it is about uh town hall 10 but with the addition of the siege machine and the town hall 10s being able to obtain those siege machines i feel like this level gets really really easy at that point but i think that was kind of the intent at the end of the day because many years ago before town hall 12 was ever a thought town hall 10 was in fact one of the hardest town hall levels in the game to three star because there was no help from the higher town hall levels really the siege machine changed everything so my advice for you is that if you're really having a hard time three starring at town hall 10 try to obtain the siege machine so those last two attacks were on an anti three star design where the town hall is on the outside of the base. Some of you guys out there might not face off against stuff like that, correct? You might be facing off against stuff like this right here. So I went out in global and I found a ring style base with the single target Inferno Towers. Now you can hit this base with the same exact army, but your approach might change. Let me show you what this might look like. So we're gonna drop the lightning spells to eliminate one of the air defenses and we have to make sure that we place our lightning spells to make sure that we're not wasting them so you'll notice that we're going to drop like two lightning spells over here destroy the mortar we're going to go to the other side of that air defense and then drop our earthquake spell so we got rid of two of the air defenses now we need to target another air defense and we're going to use our heroes but we're also going to use those baby dragons to do the funneling first trying to clear those exterior buildings that way our king and our queen go inside the village now on this particular attack i did rotate out some minions and i replaced with wall breakers the goal here is to get our king and our queen inside the village and try to eliminate some uh, air defense one more air defense as well as other buildings and defenses we need 
need to try to funnel and clear as many buildings as possible that way we can get our dragons into the core of this base where the air sweepers are located the single target inferno towers as well as the expos there is a reason why a lot of players do not run these bases anymore because they are very easy to negotiate if you understand the mechanics of your troops and you notice that when i was placing dragons i was looking for that little crosshairs seeing where the dragon was targeting you notice that when i drop that dragon right there i'm targeting and hitting the single target so that's why i dropped all of my dragons all of my balloons and the lava hound to go block this air defense we drop the rage spell we're gonna hold on to that freeze for a little bit of time and then we're gonna freeze that single target and expo on the opposite side while the balloons dragons take down the town hall take down the remaining defenses in the core of the base and honestly once the center of these bases fall like the single targets once those are gone we're pretty much home free guys you'll see how the balloons are going to go on the outer ring start clearing out other defenses and the lava hound block the air defense just long enough for the dragons to get over there and take it out i mean this whole thing just falls apart from here on out so i wanted to show you this base because there are players out there that just do not understand how to take down ring style bases but the biggest thing about these bases is honestly they're just kind of troll bases really because if you don't have a lot of patience you'll fail on them every single time but believe it or not they're actually a lot easier to take down than the bases that we saw at the beginning of the video so hopefully this right here helps some of you guys out because that army will work on those as well even against the single target inferno towers now i understand that this was all town hall 10 versus town hall 10 but we will be covering town hall 10 versus town hall 11 and 12 in the upcoming week but good luck in your upcoming clan war leagues appearance i hope you get a lot of three stars guys if you enjoyed today's content make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us quite regularly turn on those notifications now if you need any additional video support or you would like to see the very beginning of the town hall 10 in 2021 series or the Town Hall 10 free-to-play series from 2020. Click one of those links over there, and we will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.